David Menager. I am a computer science major and I'm a senior. And I'm from Topeka, Kansas. I do a lot of programming. I'm like a cognitive scientist is kind of what you would describe. In our research, we are trying to build cognitively inspired robots, meaning we have some type of model of how the brain works and we encode that into a code and then we download that onto some computer and then we see what happens. Zero. Basically having robots operate in areas where humans can't or where it's not safe for humans to be in. So disaster zones, uh, there's obviously some military applications, there's medical applications, assisted home living where you can have a robot help you out just doing everyday tasks. Doing undergraduate research is a great way to show that you're interested. My biggest advice would just be start looking around. Ask, ask people if they have any openings, ask your friends, ask professors. Even if you don't know where you're going, if you just start looking, their opportunities will just start flooding in. And so if you get one opportunity, another one will come up to you and another one, another one. And you can just you can take that path and kind of form it to where you want to go. Not only does, does it go one way, so class to research, it goes from research to class because you can take classes and be more informed. You can add more to discussions in class. You really appreciate problem solving because research is doing something new. So in class, you work on stuff that's already been solved before, but when you do research, you don't know the answer. And so that's really the biggest difference. Understanding that difference is really worthwhile and fundamental because that's how the real world works. You know, nobody in the real world is working on something that's already been done. So it's just really all across the board beneficial.